you send that energy, then these grids become more powerful and the grids of ire become deplete. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you very much. Very, very much. Wonderful. We would like at this point to share a small practice with you. So again, take yourself to that place of welcoming and reception. Feel the energy that is flowing in your being and you are open. We have you well protected and cared for. Do not worry. There is nothing vicious allowed to be around. Allow yourself to be open, receptive, light, and airy. Feel in your body. Give your body permission let it flow and expand. Let your awareness run through your body and ask which part of your body wishes to light up. It may be a major chakra or it may be a physical part or an emotional, psychological part. Just Take a moment, run your awareness through your body and ask which part of your body at this moment wishes to light up. Wonderful. Now, with your awareness to this part of your body, invite all the energy that is flowing through you to go to this part and light it up. Light it up. It is all right if some energy flows, but light it up so that you become like a light glowing but from this part of your body do not force it allow it to happen naturally that all the energy flowing into you and you may find your whole being becoming somewhat radiant with this activated but this part of your body invite it to absorb and expand its energy Give yourself a moment and be aware, bring your, just observe and be aware and keep fueling. You may find it requires more and more fuel as it lights up. Invite it to send energy out. You may see it sends it as a glow, or it may send individual lines of energy, or it may flow like waves. Pay attention when you say to it, you are invited to send the energy out. What happens? And keep the flow, keep the flow, so it may feel empowered, well-fed. Hmm. Let your awareness follow these lines of energy. If you like, if you would rather stay here and just send, that is all right. Or if you wish to call whatever is connected to send word back to you about what you are connecting to, that is all right. Whichever is your comfort, but let your awareness understand as your energy goes out, what is it connecting to?
and you may ask for it to enter your awareness if you are connecting with anyone or anything of relevance or if there is a specific grid mandala that you are supporting or connecting to where is your energy going and for what purpose Now, continue this energy flow. Tell your body, keep this energy flowing, but allow your awareness, instead of being focused on your body, allow your awareness to rise up, rise up, rise up out the crown of your head, up your horror line to your angel's perspective or your soul's perspective, looking down on our planet at your energy, how from the angel's perspective do you see your energy grid, your energy flow, the energy of the planet, and the impact your energy is having. Give yourself a moment to observe your energy grid from the angelic perspective. And ask the energy flow to increase while you observe so you may see the fuller impact of your energy. If you'd like, you may even advance time a little to see the fuller impact in time of your energy. Very good, and now return to your body. Allow yourself to become comfortable with your awareness in your body. Give appreciation to your angel, your soul, your librarian for their assistance. And you may allow your energy to do what it wishes to do so that you may be comfortable as you bring your attention back to our lesson together. We hope this helped you to see some of the power that you are capable of and the impact. Have we any questions on this little technique? All right. I have a question. Yes. What is the purpose of the exercise? What do you... The purpose of this exercise is for you to become aware of what a wonderful, flowing, energetic being you are. 
if you practice this exercise daily, you may find that you do not have the same energy center of power every day. That what is happening in the world around you what location you're at, what energy grids are active around you, what empowerment you have at the moment all affect what will light up within you and where your energy will flow. If you practice this exercise daily, you will see the effect you have on your environment you will see that you are not just a small fleshy being that some people who do not know who you are can manage your entire existence whether you like it or not but rather you are a powerful conduit of divine energy that you can connect to mandalas and grids and affect them to have a wonderful loving effect upon your planet. Hey, thank you very much. That is our pleasure. Hmm. Well, we think our conduit is becoming tired, so it is time for us to return to the collective. Have we any questions before we depart? No questions, well then, Thank you. We thank you. And we are grateful for this time we shared with you. Blessings upon you. Thank you very much. Blessings. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I, wow. I think they brought me back early a little bit because they wanted me to, um, tell you what I was seeing, like how they see you, because, um, boy, when the librarians look at you all, they see you as the most beautiful energy forms. They see you as, um, they see, just like this energy behind me. You know, they, they see how bright and, you know, they, they see like all the love that's within everyone and this beautiful energy of love covered with like little black spots, you know, like little infections. And they would like nothing more than for everyone to be healed of your infections so that your true self can shine um, and these infections they're um, they're nurtured by ourselves we nurture our own infections you know we um, that it's our choice to see ourselves like these incredible networks of love or to see ourselves as wounded beings and they just wanted everyone to have a chance to see yourself like, like this, like powerful and loving and connected. Like we're not alone. We're, 
we're connected to anything we want to be connected to. Um, yeah. So I found this very interesting because usually they guide us to go to the source or to Gaia and, you know, vice versa, kind of exchange energies from, you know, one side to the other. But how this was different was it was self-generated, meaning yeah. from us, like you pick a part of your body, you generate that energy, that frequency from yourself and then send it to the grid uh, to the grid and the mandalas out that was brilliant just brilliant i thought that was really cool like for me um i was doing that exercise i was still connected to the collective but they let me sort of they were like protecting me so that i didn't interfere with them and they let me do the exercise I brought my awareness down and I'm checking every chakra and everything. And it went down to my feet. So like my feet were lit up. I'm like, okay, all right. Um, I guess these boots are made for walking. And um, the energy that went out from my feet was like all of the divine energy that was flowing in. And my feet were lighting up and it was going out because it was my feet. This energy was getting spiked into earth in various places so i was like um it was like you know i had some sort of sacred staple gun and i'm stapling stapling this energy you know into earth so that it can't be ripped off of it and i thought well that's really cool that is really cool <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stapling energy that's a great <laughs> visual here <laughs> Yeah, it was really uh, something. So, um, uh, and when I went up to the higher perspective to see, I could see everyone that was connecting with like earth energy was able to tap into these grids that were rolling out and that there were others doing the same thing. So all of our, you know, staked energy was able to eventually find each other. So my energy is going this way, someone else's staked energy is going that way. And they might be slightly different frequencies, but that's okay because all of it was about empowering Earth to be energized. So um, I'm going to be on the lookout for other people who are staking energy into Earth and maybe they'll become my new friend. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll check with like meditating on this and uh, who knows, who knows, maybe we'll start speaking to each other through the energy grid. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, I joined the librarians. I encourage you guys to practice this. Um, I mean, it only takes a few minutes. You can do it while you're out on a walk or something. But um I think they really want everyone to see how powerful we are and how much we can, you know, um, how much we can affect our planet. Thank you, Bonita. Thank you. Thank you, Nazi. Thank you, everyone. Um, Thank you, Bonita. Thank you. Thank you. Very powerful, Thanks. very enlightening. Thank you, darling. Well, I can only take credit for being very good at spacing out. So librarians <laughs> get all the credit. Whatever works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was learning alongside with you guys. So um, thank you for sharing this time with me. And I know the librarians were um, uh, I know they felt like tonight's lesson was very sophisticated. So they were really like, uh, they've been wanting to teach it for a while. They were waiting till I could get in harmony with it because it was really, it was actually really a challenge for them to hold the frequency through my body for them to share this lesson in words, you know, in verbal words. 
Um, so they were feeling um, optimistic. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. I was told to go look at the sky outside. Um, uh, apparently Saturn, Pluto, Ju Jupiter are, are all out. So um, if you get a chance, go outside and look at the sky. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. Have a wonderful night and, um, you know, have a good time with this. Have a blessed move. May, yes. all, may all the muscles work well. Stay strong. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I know. Sorry to make you, sorry to bring you back to earth. <laughs> oh no, that's okay. That's okay. Um, we still have a few weeks left, so I'm just packing a certain amount of boxes every day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But when I'm uh, up in Maine, you will see my power so much, so much better, I think. <laughs> and I actually think that that energy going through your feet might be related to Maine. I don't know if Maine is similar to Colorado in the sense of grounding sensation that you get there versus here. But I, that is my sense of it. And uh, you are going to be off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I can't wait. I can't wait to, uh, um, for us to do this up there and see if we yeah. can <laughs> yeah. Have a good evening, darling. I love you all. And thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you, everyone. Have a thank wonderful you. night. You too. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Good night. Uh, good night.